Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa. I actually film a favorites video every single month where I extensively review the products for the whole month. I give you my thoughts and opinions on it and welcome to the November version. So as usual, I have my categories of hair, beauty, jewelry. I also have some gummies and also some shoes as well this month. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. As usual, I'm gonna go with my favorite jewelry favorites of the month. So I usually review some Majuri favorites and I try some of their new products. If you guys watched my Majuri current must-haves part two, you would already have seen the two new items. But in case you haven't seen it, first of all, go check it out because I have a part one and part two and you guys loved it. So that way you can see a more collective version of my Majuri collection. For this month, the two products that I tried and loved are first of all, the Pod a ring so this is what the ring looks like and I just really love it because it's such a nice statement piece and it just has all these tiny little diamonds on there and I like to just put it in my index finger or sometimes my middle finger depending on the mood and the second item that I got from Majuri is their boyfriend bold chain in the bracelet if you guys remember I actually already got the boyfriend bold chain and it is my favorite thing in the world I am wearing it right now with the the diamond initial necklace the boyfriend bold chain it is the exact same chain link but it is in the bracelet version and I just really like it because once again it is solid gold I had trouble putting it on myself so I got my friend to do it once I got to see her after she put it on I just never took it off ever again because I just hate putting on and taking off bracelets because it's so hard especially if you live alone it's just so hard to put it on yourself so I love that it's solid gold because I never take it off because the chain is a little bit thicker there's less of a chance for it breaking or coming apart and stuff like that. Anyway, I highly recommend checking out those two products. They are definitely investment pieces because they are solid gold. So you can keep this on all the time if you want to. So it is definitely on the pricier side, but as usual, I have a partnership with Majuri. So you can get 10% off all of the items in your basket using my link down below. So the next category I'm gonna go into is actually a new one, but I've worked with them for a really, really long time. I just keep on forgetting to mention them in the favorites videos, but I've actually been eating goalie gummy bears for about four months now. So this is what it looks like. And the Goli gummy bears, what it is, if you guys didn't know, are basically apple cider vinegar gummies. So imagine vitamin gummies pretty much, but it's apple cider vinegar. So there are a bunch of health benefits to apple cider vinegar. I'll leave a quick short list here for you guys to see. With apple cider vinegar, if you want, you can also take apple cider vinegar shots, but they're just like not as tasty and it is a little bit sour. I did mention this in my Black Friday favorites because they did have a sale. If you guys didn't watch that video, pretty much I kind of already explained this where these gummies are just very enjoyable. I take about two a day. So I already restocked and got a new bottle. I have three bottles now. I have one in Vancouver, one here that I'm almost done. And then I have a backup for the goalie gummies. With goalie, you can also get a discount using my link down below. So I'll leave it there for you guys to check out. But I just really like eating gummy alternatives or even just pills for me to swallow because I don't like having to taste the apple cider vinegar. If you guys are interested, definitely check this out. I'm actually a huge vitamin person. I take vitamins every single day, so fun fact. So the next set of products I'm gonna go through are gonna be beauty. I tried two Charlotte Tilbury skincare products this month. So the first one is the Magic Serum. The second one is the Magic Cream Light. And this is what it looks like. Basically with each of these products, I have to say I really, really do enjoy the Charlotte Magic Serum. So this is what it looks like and I do really like this. I find that it does make my makeup apply better as a serum because it is tacky. I really like more tackier serums. I just find that her ingredients are always very healthy. If you guys didn't know, Charlotte Tilbury wears her own makeup and her own products to bed. So she actually wears makeup to sleep. So she really focuses on better ingredients for her skin. For the Magic Cream Light, I have to be honest here. She has a magic cream which does really, really, really well and I love that product. I've reviewed that product before. The Magic Cream Light 
TBH is not my favorite because I just feel like I can't believe I just said TBH but anyway so the idea of this product is to make the magic cream obviously in a lighter formula but I didn't really find that it was that much lighter I mean instead of like in a pot type of cream this one you can squeeze it from up top but I just feel like the consistency when you put it on the skin isn't as smooth I feel like it kind of can't really make up its mind it would have been better if they used kind of like a moisture moisturizer consistency rather trying to do a light cream but that's just my own opinion because I feel like some people really like this product but when I put on the product it doesn't spread evenly is what I'm trying to say I don't love love this product I do love her magic cream not the light version the cream version if you guys want to give that a try this one I think is okay I mean that's just kind of my opinion but the serum I think it's worth it I really like the serum that's kind of my review on those the next product is this a more Pacific moisture plumping nectar cream cream and you guys this is so funny because when I went to Vancouver for three months I couldn't pack that much because I had so many things I was packing for friends and family as gifts that I just genuinely didn't have much space in the suitcase for myself the one thing that I had to leave behind was this Amore Pacific moisturizer so I've actually been using it throughout the summer and then finally when I came back I'm using it again but I freaking love this moisturizer I am telling you this is so nice I think the only thing I don't really like about it is that the packaging is a little too heavy and big for what it is this is how big the lid is and if you take off the lid this is huge I don't know if you guys can see that that's my only complaint that the packaging is a little too heavy there's a lot of product as you guys can see I'm already halfway through this product a little goes a long way and I feel like this is a great moisturizer especially in the mornings because at night I do tend to like heavier cream based stuff but this is amazing and smells amazing as with all of their Amore Pacific. If you guys are not into fragrance, and I know fragrance isn't necessarily the best for skincare, then this is not the product for you. However, I do personally, guilty to say, do like a little bit fragrant in my skincare sometimes, and this is gonna be one of them. This is really worth trying out, especially if you guys like the brand, and I just really enjoy this, especially as a morning moisturizer. The consistency is really nice. On the hand, it goes on so smoothly, so easily, and it just seems very water-based, and it doesn't feel very sticky on the skin. I really, really like that. The next item, you guys, I, cannot express how much I love this item. I'm really impatient and that's also a result of me having ADHD, but me being super impatient, there are some products that take forever for me to see results. This product, I kid you not, did not take me a long time to see results at all. If you guys watched my last few videos, I've been trying to review eye creams and stuff like that for the longest time because I have really bad bags under my eyes. You can't see right now because I have makeup on, but I've just been trying to review eye products and this is the good molecules caffeine energizing eye patch you guys I noticed a difference after day one or two I highly recommend this product maybe it's because you put it under your eye for like 15 minutes but I use this product maybe like three times a week and I notice a huge difference in my deep puffiness and also the color goes down a little bit so I really enjoy this product it is also at a pretty good price point give this product a try because freaking oh I love this product so much and I'm definitely going to order another one as you guys can see I already used half of what's in here but it comes with this little scoopy thing you just scoop up these eye patches and you put it under your eyes if you guys also have like puffy eyes I really recommend this product okay next category I'm gonna go on to shower stuff so I'm gonna start off with hair sorry if this looks gross because I literally just took it from the shower I tried this new brand honestly I don't want to butcher the name I think this is a Spanish name I'm gonna try it anyway I believe it's Mira. You know what? I'm not gonna try it actually. Can someone please leave a thing down below because I feel like you guys are really good with this, especially if you're Spanish. Please let me know how to pronounce this product. But basically, I tried their Platinum and Diamond Hair Care line, and this is a luxe hair care. So this is what it looks like. Let me tell you what I enjoy about this product. First of all, I really do like the packaging, but just for the shampoo. So this is what it looks like. The packaging, twist it, and then you can squeeze it out by just kind of like tilting it over. I think it's lovely for the shampoo. For the conditioner, 
it makes it a little bit harder to come out because of the consistency of conditioner but for shampoo it's amazing the other thing i want to mention about this hairline is first of all it smells amazing so if you have like a significant other or just people around you smelling your hair i don't know why anyone would go out of their way just to smell your hair if they're not your significant other but you know in case you have weird friends or something or you want to smell it yourself this is a really good smelling hairline the other thing which you guys know is a huge thing on this channel is i love reviewing less fallout or at least fallout prevention hair products and this is one of the fallout hair prevention products once again just want to clarify i do like to put in rotation these shampoos and conditioners because as a kid my mom kind of trained me to always like rotate my shampoos and conditioners i do have several of my favorite less fallout shampoos and conditioners i am adding this one on the list baby because this is freaking amazing give this a try and someone please tell me how to pronounce this brand in the thickest spanish accent i would love to learn the next product that i want to talk about is the caudalie soleil body gel so this is what it looks like and it is empty <laughs> or actually no i think there's this much left i tried preserving it as much as i can because i didn't want to throw it out just yet before i showed you guys it is luxe so it is pricier than some of the other body washes that you will experience but it is such a nice experience it smells really nice it lathers really well on the skin i usually just put it with my loofah i try to conserve it as much as possible and i find that it's very gentle so i'm not afraid to wash my little hoo-ha down there you know with this product highly recommend checking that out as well the last two products i feel like i'm sweating from this video just like talking about all of these products so passionately but the last two products are shoes let me just go grab them give me one second okay so the first pair of shoes i actually can't remember if i already talked about these shoes these pair of boots i feel like first of all super comfortable second of all very very cheap they're from h and i i'm gonna try to leave a link hopefully it's not sold out so cheap so stylish especially for the season i feel like this zipper trend is very in so comfortable everyone needs to get this pair because for what it is it is so cheap and comfortable did i say that already i feel like i said that three times you guys need to get these boots because i've been wearing it all season every time i put on instagram of these boots you guys always comment on them for my youtube people these boots are great and highly recommend the next set of boots that i want to talk about are these call it spring boots after wearing it i'm like holy crap this is a good product these call it spring boots i love them because first of all they are waterproof they're just really really stylish for what waterproof boots look like the one that i have i will leave a name here but these ones i just really like the color for fall it looks really great with any type of mini skirt or even like tights or something like that and i really like the heel as well and once again i can't believe these are waterproof so if you guys also live in canada or especially vancouver because it's raining all the damn time i highly recommend these boots because stylish and waterproof say no more but anyway that's pretty much the video for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i feel like i am slightly hyper today for some reason so please excuse that but other than that hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys haven't already please subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram click the bell notification button and what else am i missing oh yeah can you also like this video as well you know let me know so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye